Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, back with another weekend full of Minecraft. Um, things have gotten a little crazy here. I have just actually wrapped up recording episode 11, which is the Illager Raid episode. If you didn't watch that episode yet, go give it a look. Uh, we got some action-packed uh, fighting going on in that one. Um, but not too long after, I thought, well, let's just create ourselves a new um, diamond pickaxe and see what we can get on it. And you know what? Um, we got very lucky. Yeah, you reading that right. Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, all in the same enchantment. So I didn't even have to combine my previous diamond pickaxe which only had efficiency four uh, not only that i quickly did a, another bow with infinite infinity and a couple other um, good enchantments so i could have combined that one but for now we'll just sort of leave it as a backup um, but the craziness doesn't end there so let's go out because we've been digging out through our mines and our sword is getting a little bit under the weather. Oh, I'm not sure. So here's a slime. It's the first time that we've had a slime on camera. But slimes have been coming up um, as <laughs> the mobs that we're meeting on the staircase for some time now. Oh, yep, <laughs> big slime right there. Ooh, uh, let's, we'll get the torch back in a minute, but wow. Um, Lots of slimes happening in the staircase. I don't know if there's a spawner or something nearby, but wow. Every time we come down here, it's uh, slime central. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's get that torch back. Uh, so yeah, if I were to go back upstairs and show you my slime collection, it is bizarre. Um, but we made another staircase down here, and we'll get our sword ready just in case. And we're going to have to repair our sword soon, or, or it's about to break. Either that, or we'll just create a new one. Um, but with the um, pickaxe that we got, I'm now in a quick um, gotta find diamonds now sort of thing. Because if I mine diamonds with that pickaxe, uh, there's a good chance I'll get more than what it will... Um, sort of give me um, but there's our real system up there so we're just right above the room that sort of takes that rail and goes off to our second base and our second base was for getting our spider spawn farm uh, to get all the levels that we get well we were clearing out this one there is one spider spawner here there's a llama, but <laughs> he's not the important thing. But down here, there's another spider spawner. So all the work that we had done in that episode in order to create that spawn farm is now becoming irrelevant because we have a better situation to create this farm, much like we did the first one. Um, and I think they're actually, oh, hi spider, go away. Um, I think they're actually, oh, Creeper! I'm just gonna get rid of him really quickly because I don't want him ruining things. Uh, but yeah, I think they're at, well, they're at the same elevation. And I think they're also at the same, um, I don't know if you want to call it the X or Y coordinate, but yeah. Um, <laughs> this will be an easy farm to create, so... Um, I just wanted to come on camera and get this sort of um, recorded real quick uh, because we are going to create another farm and this farm will be right underneath our house. And go blow something out there, creeper. Um, <laughs> let's light that up again. Jeez, what is with the creepers in here? Uh, all right. <laughs> Creepers go away. Um, but yeah, we can create another farm and it's not going to take us long other than the fact that it's going to... All these enemies. Um, this cave has been non-stop enemies. 
for spawners or whatever. So uh, just to give you an idea, <laughs> not to drag this out any, but there's number one spawner, here's number two spawner, and then if we travel backwards a little bit, you get number three spawner here, and it's another cave spider spawner um, before the cave ends, um, which is fine. You know what? That can just sort of chill out on its own. It's, we don't really care about it. But yeah, it's, it's, in, it's insane how much enemies are in this cave mineshaft area. Uh, and a llama for all <laughs> intents and purposes. Um, but I wanted to get on camera and say, okay, yeah, stuff is happening down here. We're going to get stuff sort of set up uh, off camera. Uh, I should actually get that. Let's get that <laughs> down so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, there we go. That's a skeleton. Hi, skeleton. Come get me if you want. I don't care. Um, but yeah, wanted to come on camera saying we're going to be doing some stuff off camera. We're going to be setting this up and then this will be more of our secondary base than what our secondary base has already been established is going to be because we are in a much better position here to get this all up and running. So, um, ow. Hey, zombie, bugger off. get that off me go away um, so I may spend spend some time off camera getting this all set up and um, first first job on order is to stop all these enemies from interrupting me um, but just wanted to come on camera real quick uh, we'll get sort of undergoing with the rest of the episode afterwards um, but yeah stuff is happening and uh, his stuff, good stuff is happening. So um, when next we come on camera, maybe I'll find a, a diamond vein just to give you an idea of what Fortune 3 does. But uh, um, we'll be pretty much uh, ready to go underneath our house here for levels or maybe I'll find something um, good to sort of show you guys. But yeah, <laughs> we're making moves. We're making stuff happen. So um, hang tight. We'll be right back and we'll continue the episode on with whatever we're happening, we're doing next. Stay tuned. Hey there. All right. We've sort of are still exploring through the mine shaft. We finished off our new spider XP farm and we'll sort of I'll show you guys that uh, in a moment's notice, but I wanted to get the camera rolling because um, we were on the hunt for more diamonds. So I did find a little bit of a deposit here and I wanted to, uh, it looks like we got five. So I wanted to see if using this Fortune 3 pickaxe, and let's just make sure, yep, on Fortune 3 I'm breaking and efficiency. Let's mine this out and out of the five, let's see if we can get lucky and it already looks like we can and just make sure that nothing is falling away so out of five we got 12 oh my goodness <laughs> oh this thing's paying off dividends but yeah i just wanted to give you guys an example i'll we'll just grab this iron here um that yeah this this is why i wanted this uh, enchantment on the uh, pickaxe um, so um <laughs> hopefully after getting a couple of more deposits like that we can uh, proceed with making i don't know maybe some diamond armor um but yeah we're definitely on the hunt for more diamonds now so um I'll do a little bit more digging and we'll see what we come up with at the end of this all. Uh, and then at that point, we'll sort of make a game plan for making ourselves the diamond armor and maybe going into the nether again. So we'll be right back when we're back.
Hi, welcome back everybody. A um, little bit of a diamond drying, bleh, diamond mining montage. Um, <laughs> it's been a, it's been a eventful couple of days, that's for sure, but let's head on back. Um, we actually got to sort of not only mining down in our own mine shaft, but uh, doing some in the first mine shaft that we found, as well as uh, I went back to that swamp area and sort of dug that out, and it didn't really explore too much before finding it, um, but the fact that I went to the uh, swamp area, um, I heard that uh, diamonds tend to generate more in swampy binomes than any others. I figured I'd give it a shot, and um, well, <laughs> that last footage part where I found the seven, seven diamonds, yeah, that was there. So. Yeah, we've been busy, and boy howdy, uh, stacking a third of diamonds. Um, <laughs> nothing to sneeze at. Um, tons and tons of iron, and not really much gold, but we're not complaining with that. Um, actually, let's go back to our first... We got a little bit of emeralds. I think we got more when we did that raid lap the last episode, but... Uh, can't scoff at whatever diamonds that we were getting as well. Uh, tons and tons of redstone uh, and tons of lapis too. So we are good for all the ores. Um, but as stated, um, we did want to do a little bit of a, of a diamond hunt. Uh, and we'll take... I'm going to have to do this in parts just because I don't want... Be enough. I don't want to overspend any of the diamonds that we'll be using crafting our armor. So we'll do one piece at a time. It's five for pants. Well, well, it's a little bit more for pants, but that's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's just take a rest. Because it's not like we're going to be spending over. Uh, and now we need four for boots. We got three. So we just need one. Or two. Two, I guess. Well, you know what? We'll be getting more diamonds in, in between segments and stuff like that. Nothing to worry about here, but this is our first full set of diamond armor. Uh, and as tempted as I would be to just sort of say put it on right now, um, we're going to hold off. We're going to sort of put it in storage. Um, so we're 32. Let's see. Let's see if we can enchant any of it right now um, and if it'll be worth it. At least, you know, we can do that while on camera. Uh, so let's start with the chest plate and see what it will give us. Uh, projectile protection 4, which isn't bad if you wanted protection from projectiles. Uh, considering that we fighting ghasts, uh, more projectile. More projectile. And blast. Well, at least it's not projectile. Um, but you know what? Let's, uh, let's see what we can get on the chest plate. Thorns too. Okay, not bad. Uh, that gives us with level 29, so we wouldn't have enough to do... Oh, we're close though. So, since we're so close, let's just put everything into this chest. We'll remember what it is for next time, because then I can show you guys. Uh, first, I sort of... Anytime I'm exiting, I put pressure plates rather than down them buttons. It just makes it easier to exit. Uh, and that way monsters don't. The entrances are still button activated just because I don't want monsters to um, come in by mistake. Uh, but let's head on down here. Um, I swapped out the diamond sword for an iron one just to sort of not wear it down quite as quickly. Because uh, there's plenty of di uh, iron to go around. Well, there's plenty of diamonds too, but okay. So. We were setting up a new farm here, so I set up a sort of like a mini base just to keep things handy. Our infinite water source, some 
furnaces for stuff and then we put in doorways just to stop enemies from wandering in and being nuisances so i can head off to the rest of the mine shaft through this door i still have yet to explore down this way um, but that's sort of neither here nor there because we can go in here and here's our new spider farm it's a little dark but it is basically one big room and same rules apply um, from the center of the spawner i carved out a four by four room um, and then towards the center there was just there was three blocks space between both farms so it was enough for our trench uh, so yeah it if you're so, still sort of um, wondering how this was all built um, same rules applied as uh, my last spider farm video which was what two three episodes ago uh, I also made things easier for myself so if I needed to ever get into those rooms I have doors <laughs> we're, we're in a civilized society here we can make doors for that stuff um, but we brought over our Bane of Anthropod sword. And there's our level 30. Uh, but we'll chop up a little bit. Like I said, it's fun to do it from time to time. Let's come up here and make sure spiders are not giving us any lip. Like you and you and you. And you, ha. Uh, no, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it, it's fun. It didn't take us long to get back to 33 so we'll see what we can get on a couple more of these pieces uh, starting with the leggings uh, nether thorns too um, as useful as that would be let's see if we can get on the helmet fire protection or uh, I'm sort of do not want to do the boots because I can do, yeah, it does fire protection as well. So you know what? We'll do the helmet now. Get ourselves fire protection and maybe something else? Uh, question mark? Thorns 2 and breaking. All right, not bad. Liking it. Liking it a lot. Uh, and then lastly, the leggings. Protection 4. What? Sure. And that's all we get. Um, oops mean to let's get our lapis back I didn't want to do the boots uh, let's take our chest plate out for a moment uh, because we have been stocking up on books and sometimes whenever I don't like what uh, is coming out to a weapon or a tool or an armor then I'll enchant a book and one of them I got depth strider and aqua infinity so uh, actually, no, I won't use the book quite yet. I'll enchant the books. I'll enchant the boots first. Um, but I think that is both those um, Death Strider and Aqua Infinity. I believe we'll both go in the boots. I'm not sure. If it doesn't, you know what? Not the biggest deal in the world, I guess. Uh, but let's put our armor into the armor storage and we'll keep it there safe for now. Uh, because the next thing we're going to do, like I mentioned, it may be worth our while to actually clean up our nether base and actually make it operational. Because the next steps that we may want to do will include going into the nether and using a base there in order to start scouting around. Um, it'll be nice to have sort of like a, a home footprint there. So... Um, 
it'll be nice if we sort of make a decent structure and clean it up all nice and then we can sort of do whatever. So what I'll do, um, we're going to gather some materials here first and, and then we'll head on over and we'll start seeing if we can do stuff there. Um, we will need the iron bars because I sort of like using them over windows, but you know, um, all this is sort of work in progress. So if it doesn't work out, well, we'll just sort of um, alter it on the fly. I guess that's what you could call it. Uh, we'll take that much sand as well. All right. So we'll smelt, we'll smelt some things here before we get started. Um, and once that's done, we'll head on over and we'll see what's what. So we'll reconvene there. expect villagers to be coming to say hello but maybe that's uh, what I get for bringing the fight to them last episode yeah well uh, wasn't planning on hitting a village anytime soon so raid or not uh, there is one skeleton that's under there that needs to go away But while we're here, might as well collect the, uh, all the stuff that they give. Experience and, and goodies and whatnot. There we go. Uh, Alright, so we're almost ready to go. Um, just wanted to get some more cut stone bricks before heading out. Before we were rudely interrupted by illagers. Since we're still here, might as well grab the last little bit of stone, cut it up, and then be on our way. Thing, but there we go <laughs> make use of the banner we got all right let's head on over to the nether base and let's see if we can't get something a little bit more pleasing to the eye going there So I got some chests, or some furnaces, and some chests, uh, and we do have some netherrack, which will be what we use for this next step. Uh, so let's, um, two, I should have gotten more lava before leaving, but yeah, let's start with two. So we'll take a stack, and we'll start her up, uh, and you can smelt down netherrack to make nether bricks. So, yes, nether bricks. 
Uh, so we'll get two of those going because we want to make uh, nether brick blocks because uh, once you have nether bricks, uh, combining four of them should get you the block. I don't think I need that much. Let's start with that and see what happens. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to restructure our floor here and we're going to make the, the, the base a little bit nicer. Um, and my sort of thought for that was to make it more, I don't know, um, reminded of like the pods that you would put on uh, planets. If you were sort of say exploring out onto a different planet, you would start terraforming and putting up these uh, dome structures. Uh, so we're going to do that here. And it'll have little branches, so the first one will obviously be our portal room, but we may make another one just for, uh, you know, just, uh, I guess you could call it operations. Um, having our chests and furnaces and whatnot in. So we'll be redoing a bunch of this, <coughs> excuse me, and um, as we're redoing it, uh, we'll use sort of better blocks that are more pleasing and get that underway. So we can take our work fungus, because uh, we'll want to collect on that. Right, here we go. So we got some, some nether bricks. And yeah, another brick block. So it's a little bit of a process, so we are going to start time lapsing momentarily. Uh, but we're going to take out all the floor here and then we're going to start uh, filling it back in with the block, the bricks. Looking much better there. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of a process, um, but we'll get our sort of central hub going and then once that's done, we'll start expanding it. So um, there will be a little bit of a time lapse here, but uh, stay patient, we'll be right back.
getting to what I had envisioned this design being, and I did spend a little time off camera uh, playing in my creative world just to sort of iron out the details. Um, but I wanted to get my good pickaxe for getting any of this nether quartz. Just so that we can get more. Uh, and then we'll finish up the floor here. Um, okay, <laughs> whoops. There we go, all right. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's more of a circular design. And there'll be small pods. I like to keep things somewhat compact, as you know. Um, and I was also thinking of chiseled basalt for the basalt for the roof, but we haven't really gotten to sort of getting any of that, and I know it's down that way, um, so I may do some of that off camera. For now, we'll just get the floors and walls and other stuff up so that we can sort of make... Did I leave? I'm not leaving you behind. Thank you. Um, but we'll get sort of the, the base structure and maybe I'll just sort of fill it in with uh, with regular cobblestone until we get that and it'll look a little bit nicer once uh, once that stuff is in. Uh, 21, uh, 21 of those. Not too bad. All right, let's... Uh, I went back to the overworld just to get more lava. I figured it'd be safer to get it there. <laughs> Just in case we need it, but I don't think we need to smelt any more uh, netherrack. I think we have enough for at least the first floor plan here, and then once I start expanding, then we'll start getting more. Uh, so, basic design. Uh, basically, it'll be a circle. There can be entrances on all four sides, or if I choose to wall it up and just put in a window, then I can do that as well. Uh, so there's my two, one there, and then all right, this is where it uh, continues on. So that's fine and dandy. So two, two there, and then knock out these two, and that should be the end of my flooring. Lots of other men, endermen, um, want to come around and say what's what, but uh, you know what? If you don't bother them, then they don't bother you. Which is just the way I like it. It looks like we've got our first nether pod in operation. Um, we'll start expanding onto it off camera, but I think it's taken long enough to sort of get this one started. And like before, this one was just meant to sort of 
uh, secure our portal home. So, um, sort of had uh, this envisioned, uh, nice stone bricks for, or nether, nether bricks for the floor, I should say. Uh, stone bricks for the wall with uh, some iron bars for protection from all the monsters outside. And like I said, I did cobblestone for the roof, but I am going to switch that out for basalt. And I actually wanted to do um, black tinted uh, glass um, blocks. But uh, we didn't get any ink from squid, so uh, we'll have to do that off camera as well. Um, but the primary one has been made. I got room to sort of go all the way around the portal if I need be, but I know this is sort of the spot where I'll sort of pop out from. Uh, and then from there, I can just create hallways and then more pods. So like from this one, hello Enderman, um, we'll sort of create our second pod. It'll be sort of like our operations room and who knows, maybe I'll go over this one. It'll be the armory and hello Enderman. Um, <laughs> Fortunately, uh, the um, well, I don't think Enderman will get in here, but you never know. And you know what? If they do, don't think it'll be the end of the world either. So we'll wrap it up here for now because uh, uh, it's been a busy one this week. So we'll leave it at that. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button, leave me a comment, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft and mobile gaming goodness. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.